In this video, I am bringing you guys on a trip to Blue Tears Island and rating the whole experience, the food, the fun and what I would change if I went there a second time so you guys won't have to. So watch till the end to find out what's my rating and what I would change. But first, the trip to the Blue Tears Island. If you want to skip to the part where we arrive at the Blue Tears Enterprise, skip to the time. After being in the bus for 3 hours straight, we were hungry so we went to a Kopitiam. As Malaysians say it. <laughs> After we ate, we went on a little adventure in this hall market thing or whatever you call it. I also took some pictures. We got back on the bus and went on another one hour trip and went to another Kopitiam where I found a cat! <laughs> And then, we got on the bus and went on a 2 hour ride until we reached the Blue Tears Enterprise. But first, we have to check into our hotels because we're staying there for 2 days. After we settled our stuff, we went on this vehicle that took us on a tour around the town. And just a tip for you guys, bring sunscreen or wear long sleeves if you go here. Because I am a burnt chocolate after this video is done. <laughs> Anyways, we stop at a place called Bagandato. The sun is blocked. Okay, good. After a hot day, we went back to the enterprise to eat some hot pot seafood. The seafood was a 4 out of 10, mostly because I don't really like hot pot. So it's not for me, but my mom likes it. So yeah, it's probably just me. And I gotta say, the coconut water was immaculate. I give it a 10 out of 10. It was one of the best, or if not, the best coconut water I have ever tasted. It was so refreshing, the meat on the inside was jelly-like. It was perfect. It was literally the best coconut I've ever had. After stuffing my body with coconut water, we went on a boat trip to see some eagles with an amazing sunset and some fireflies which I can't record because it's pitch black but I got some blurry photos of them We went back to the hotel and I completely fell asleep In day 2, we went to eat some breakfast provided at the enterprise. The food was two types of noodles and fried rice. The noodles was okay, but the fried rice was really good, but some people did complain that it was a little too salty. And there was also fried eggs, which I didn't eat because I was too full, but it was cooked perfectly. It looks really delicious, so I give the breakfast a 8 out of 10. After that, I enjoyed the view and relaxed before we went on the beach.
终于拍到头。After that moment of my life where I almost drowned because the sand was sinking while I stood on it, we went back to base and ate more seafood. But this time, the seafood was really good, probably because it's not a hot pot, and there was squid, crab, and sweet and sour chicken. They also helped us cook the shellfish that we dug up at the beach, so I give the whole seafood 9 out of 10. Because the tom yum was kinda bland, but I don't know what they put in it, it was still good. <laughs> there was also a guy that came by to sell us some small fish noodles and shrimp biscuits. And that's everything you will most likely experience at the Blue Tears Island. The only thing that I didn't experience are the Blue Tears. I mean, I technically did, but they were captured in the tank and I wanted to see them naturally, but they said that it is very rare to come by. So if you go here and see it, you are considered lucky. Besides that, would I recommend you to go here? Absolutely not. If you don't want to experience fun, and if you do, then absolutely yes, you should go here. It is a wonderful place with a lot of activities, delicious food, and an amazing view. Plus, the workers there are very nice, so I give this whole entire experience an 8 out of 10, mostly because I went there with my mom and her friends, and they are all like aunties, and I don't have compatible humor with them. So what I would recommend is bringing your friends along with you then this whole entire experience will be a 10 out of 10 i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe turn that notification on so you won't miss another video and thank you for watching this video and have a wonderful day